at least once a week is cleanse my home and purify it. There are energies that, you know, just come in with us. And we take our energy with us wherever we go. So it's always a good thing to, you know, cleanse ourselves and our environment as well. So we are marinating in the environment in our spaces. So it doesn't matter what, you know, kind of place you live in it still holds a certain energetic frequency. So today we're going to focus on doing some cleansing and purification. The angel cards that I drew today were purification and purpose and birth our abundance. Be willing to be efficient and bring in the light. So the first thing that you want to do is let the light in to your house as much as possible. Um, and when it's raining out and it's dark and dreary, you know, put on some lights in the house, all right? And then some beautiful music like I am, you know, having played in the background here today, uh, cleansing the space that we're in and raising the vibration of each one of us and our spaces so as I'm talking that is working as well but what I'd like to do is let the light in um, open up some windows and doors if it's not too cold where you are right now and just let some fresh air in I open up the front door and the back door you know and I actually take a broom and I go from one end of my home and I sweep the atmosphere of the room. I open up the closets and, you know, start sweeping the energetic frequencies out of the closets. Um, I do not do the floors with this broom. I just sweep the atmosphere, the air, so to speak. And I'll do up by the ceilings, I'll do down um, the walls with the broom. I'll just sweep the walls with the broom and the ceiling as well uh, from one corner, you know, all the way to the doorway of the room and sweep that energy out. And I work my way through the house and sweep the energy of the back part out the back door. Okay. And then I'll go outside and I'll take the broom and I'll call in positive energy and sunlight and I sweep it in as I am playing this kind of music in the background. Um, I also love to light a couple of uh, white pure candles and let them burn for a couple of hours. Why I do this, some people use sage and other methods. I will use a white candle for purification. Sage has a rather strong fragrance to it for me. so. I would be choking and um, you know that's one thing you can do you can also bring in a beautiful fragrance into your uh, environment by getting some uh, water and putting it on the stove and adding some beautiful um, oils that you like cinnamon's great you can put cinnamon and basil um, sea salt regular salt um, you know, I will also throw in some Epsom salt in there as well because that is purification. Then as that is burning on the stove and that beautiful scent of, you know, the cinnamon, I love the cinnamon smell and apple, uh, it's going through the house. I am also filling up a bucket with sea salt in it and some cinnamon, um, you know, and some other like beautiful fragrances that I enjoy. Vanilla is another one. So I will take uh, vanilla and squeeze some lemons, uh, oranges into the bucket. Um, you know, you can put uh, salt in there. I love to just have a beautiful, fresh, um, fruity fragrance going on uh, instead of the cleaning, you know, solutions. So. You know, as you know, um, Epsom salt 
it's great to remove toxins out of our body. I find it to do a great job as well uh, as removing negative energies and toxins off the floor and the countertops and whatever else, like the refrigerator. You know, just take a soft cloth, squeeze it out. You don't need it too wet. Wash down your doors and the refrigerator, the sink, you know. I like to pour the fragrance a little bit down the sink drains. You can um, pour a little bit in the toilet bowl as well, the shower. You know, after you clean your shower with the harsh chemicals, um, then go in there with some um, of this that you have created and just cleanse it down. It's beautiful. If you find that your, uh, you know, knobs and things like that on the sinks are, you know, rusty or spotted, you know, a great trick is vinegar. You can find a sandwich bag, put some vinegar in it, and wrap it over the, you know, nozzle for the sink or the um, shower where the water would come out. The same thing. Uh, you know, tie it whatever way you can, rubber band or red ties, whatever, and just leave it there overnight. Take it off, wipe it down, all the rust is gone, all the spots are gone, it's beautiful. Vinegar is very reasonable as well. And then just um, allow your entire bathroom to have a beautiful vibration of um, you know, cleansing. So as we cleanse ourselves, we cleanse our environment. So work your way through your home, opening up the doors of the closets as well. I also take a spritzer and I will spray my shoes and my clothing down with a little spritzer bottle that I make of this beautiful fragrance. And my intention is to, you know, raise the vibration of my clothing and shoes as well. You can use it in your car, you know, spray it in the ashtray, the vents, um, the seating, you know, just real lightly. Um, spray it around your house outside. Uh, another thing you do is go around the exterior of your home and sprinkle some salt, right? And if you have holy water, or if you want to create some, you can create that as well. You just get some water and put it in a container um, and pray over it, you know, that, you know, it will become holy water. Um, and then use that as well around your, you know, land. Um, I also recently have sprayed the mailbox to keep it clean as well. Um, you know, spray your garden, you know, purify the garden, the food, um, the beautiful flowers, uh, raise the vibration of you, your home, and the exterior of it, you know. Uh, sometimes I walk up and down my street and um, spritz up and down the street at nighttime, you know, and um, just keeping the energy flowing nice and free, um, especially now during this time that we are all going through this year. Um, we want to keep our mind and our heart, you know, happier and joyful. So let's do this uh, cleansing and purification ritual. It's really simple. It doesn't take long at all to open the blinds, light a candle, um, you know, take a broom and sweep the atmosphere. You know, run that energy right out of your house, all right? Um, you know, we watch TV shows, you hear the news, you got the radio on, somebody calls you, um, you went to the store, you came home, you know, you're quarantined in your home, uh, you're getting depression, you're getting upset, nobody's calling you, that kind of stuff. You're getting bored, you're getting lazy. You're overindulging in certain foods because you're bored. Um, so that's why I'm saying let's uh, exercise and use our energy to do something that is good for us and good as well for our home. 
your home will actually thank you. I have found that when I do this, I suddenly come into uh, more business. Okay, so um, you may get a bonus, you know, some way or another. Okay, and we want to open up our cabinets as well and, you know, clean them out. All right, so where your canned goods are and things like that. Uh, do one or two, whatever you can do a day, um, instead of sitting home being bored and saying, oh, I want to do that or I should have, let's just take this time now to do, you know, our space. So we'll begin with the candle, lighting light in, playing some beautiful music, um, you know, and going around our space and just, you know, cleansing it. So you can take a broom that same room you're cleaning the atmosphere not the floor um, you're going to do the ceiling you can wipe down the corners of the walls uh, the bedroom's great you know cleanse that bedroom where you want to get a good night's sleep and keep it healthy in there um, you know shut off the TV and remove the cell phones from the bedroom as well so you can get a good night's sleep so it's very um, enlightening for some people, they have never heard of some of my methods, and that's great, that's wonderful. So try whatever works for you. I fill up a bucket, and I use um, a certain mop that I have, and um, you know, I go from one end of the house to the other with the floor, and I allow it to dry, and then after that dries, um, my tiles that are on the floor, uh, this might be too much for some of you, but I actually spray each one and I wipe them and clean them one by one. And they just sparkle when I'm done. Because I find using a mop on those or white color, um, they don't look as clean to me as if I do them one by one and, you know, really shine them up and it looks great. And I can see when the sun is shining how it almost looks like I waxed the floor, but I didn't, and it's beautiful. It really gets in a nooks and crannies there and gets out the sand, because where I live it's very sandy, and there's a lot of pollen that flows through the air at this time of year, and um, I want to knock down the pollen as well. Also, you just feel so good when you clean things. You can do your kitchen table, you can do the wood, with this um, spritzer, you know, shine it up, polish it. If you have um, glass, mirrors, things like that, always cleanse them, all right? Cleanse your mirrors and um, just keep them, you know, nice and clean because a lot of energy goes into the mirror. Um, when you argue, when you fight, when there's negative conversations in the home, it sticks to things. All right, so if you have a fight in your house and I come in, I'm going to feel that heavy energy in there. And you might be in there 24-7 and not feel it anymore. It becomes like a part of you and a part of the people in the home. And the walls are just vibrating with that in it and everything in the house. Also, I throw things away that you know, are no longer useful, they have a crack, a scratch, a rip, whatever, get rid of that stuff. Go in your closets and see what is in there that you're never going to wear. You're just saying, well, I'm going to keep that in case. Give that thing away so you can make more room um, for the energy to flow through and more blessings come into your life, believe it or not. Make sure each and every corner of every room is clear and no clutter in front of the doors, okay? So if you got shoes and coats and things thrown in front of your doors, um, you are blocking your blessing energy. You're blocking your um, income, all right? Outside as well, pull up the weeds, clean it up. Um, you know, make it look nice, as nice as you can. If your doors outside need cleaning, then clean them, you know. They take about five minutes to clean the door, all right? Take a cloth and just wash it down. Um, 
if you need help, you know, you can probably get somebody that won't mind going outside and cleaning up the windows and things like that, uh, spraying down your home, whatever needs to be done. Just to give it an overall cleansing and purification, it will keep your vibration of your home, you know, higher and keep these germs and viruses away to the best of our ability. So once a week, you know, start to do this, utilize it, pick a day and um, say today's the day when I'm going to light the candles, I'm going to open the windows, um, let the sun in every day of course, open the windows as much as you can where you are. I turn on fans as well to move the energy through the house. Um, you know, put on some music like this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to allow this music to play for the next, you know, few minutes and allow it to go through you and your entire home. All right, so that's our intention today um, to bring in the light. Our purpose is to bring in the light today, um, purify it, and cleanse. And we're going to birth some new abundance by doing this. So thank you so much for joining me today and subscribe to this channel and go check out my other videos. I will be going live on the 28th um, on Awakening Heart Network and I'd love you to join me. It's at 7 p.m. on April 28th okay, of this year uh, and then I'll be on in June 12th on another show. Um, which I will be uploading a video about that. This is brand new. So everything is going great. And I want you to focus on that. Everything is working out for my good. And my purpose is to clean and bring in purification. And so it is. Have an awesome day. I know you will.